Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a problem from Hong Kong Mass Olympiad from 2021. In this problem, I have two equations, A over B plus B over A is 5 and A squared over B plus B squared over A is 12. I'm going to find 1 over A plus 1 over B. We know that A and B are real numbers and none of them is zero. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem now. For the sake of completeness, let's take another look at the original problem. This problem came as problem number three in that competition. It had one mark and you can see that basically it is what we've talked about. So now let's talk about the solution. To solve this, I'm going to start with applying some algebraic simplification. First of all, I know that a over b plus b over a is 5. I'm just going to multiply both sides by a b to have a squared plus b squared is 5 times a b. For the second equation, I'm going to do the same thing, but instead I'm going to end up with a cube plus b cube equals to 12 times a b. Now the thing that I need to find is 1 over a plus 1 over b. Remember, this can be simplified as a plus b over a b. Now take a look at a and b. Basically what I need to find is sum of a and b and product of a and b. So it's natural to define a new variable like s as sum and a new variable like p as the product. Let's see how we are going to use that now. To do this, I'm going to rewrite what I have. For the first equation, which is a squared plus b squared, I'm going to write it as a plus b to the power of 2 minus 2 times a b. The rest is going to be the same. On the other hand, for the equation that I have, which has a cube plus b cube, I'm going to write it as a plus b to the power of 3 minus 3 times a b times a plus b. The rest is going to be the same again. Now I'm going to replace a plus b with s and a times b with p. And then I will try to find the values that I have for s and p. To do this, let's start with the first one. We are going to have s squared minus 2 times p equals to 5 times p. For the second one, I'm going to end up with s cubed minus 3 times ps equals to 12p. Obviously, the first equation can be simplified more. Let's do that now. What I'm going to end up with is s squared minus 2p equals to 5p or s squared is 7p. I'm going to use s squared now, this time in the second equation. Remember, I found s cubed minus 3 times ps equals to 12p. I'm going to replace s squared with 7p and then I will have s times 7p minus 3 times ps equals to 12p. Simplifying the thing that I have, I will end up with 4 times sp equals to 12p. Now remember, a and b are not zero, so p cannot be zero and I can remove p from both sides and then I will end up with s equals to 3. This means p is going to be 9 over 7. Now I have s and I have p, I'm going to divide s by p and I will end up with 7 over 3 for the final answer of this problem. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more puzzles and maths involved activities and problems from different maths competitions around the world, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you.